Hello, this is the unboxing of the Namiki Yukari Royale. So this is the box it comes in. This is our box. And as you can see it says Namiki Yukari Royale, Fan Fan, in the Vermilion Urushi, in the broad nib size. And there's nothing else there, it's just this pattern to the cover box. Then you open it up. Then you have the the wooden box. It feels like a quality wooden box. It has the Namiki logo. Take it out. It's real wood. Here the Namiki logo. It says Namiki. And this is the same amount, same material kind of box boom box that the Nipponard comes in. Then you open it up. Then you have the Namiki user care guide. Namiki, uh, just regular manual. And you have the Namiki registration card. Which I'm gonna put it there for a second. Then you have this, which I'm not sure what this is. So we take it out. Oh, you have a certificate of authenticity for your car royale. As you can see, you can read it if you want. You have this foam thing on top. Then you lift it up. Well, there's the Namiki cartridge. I got this from Gold Spot, so you have to. Then you have the Namiki. I think this is the black ink or something. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's the blue ink. The Miki blue ink. And this padded velvet lining. Just gonna put it back in. Then you have the actual pen. There's some weight to it, but wow, this is some a gorgeous pen. Says Namiki on it, the Namiki logo. Vermilion Urushi. See if you can see Urushi down there, yeah. It's bronze, trim on the thing. Serial on the cap. Cap the Namiki nib. It's a pretty big nib. I see if this can focus. Yeah, it's a broad nib. Eighteen karat gold nib. You see the Mount Fuji on there, the Mickey logo, and the Mickey on it. And even the ridges are made of Urushi lacquer. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And this is not a big pen, but this is bigger than usual pens, like, but it feels really comfortable to me. And there's some padding in here, if you can see, for when you want to post it, but I would not recommend posting an Urushi lacquer pen, especially an expensive pen like this. But yeah, oh. This is also a cartridge converter pen. You have the Con 70, the black Con 70 that the Nipponaut also comes with. This holds like 0.9 millimeters of ink, I believe. It's a good ink reservoir, but it's paint clean. 
the damper, I think, is a eyedropper, whereas everything else is cartridge converters. Since this is a true unboxing, I'm just going to put this away and do some size comparisons. I'll be doing an actual review and a writing sample soon. Let me get some pens to compare. This is my currently inked up pens compared to the Mont Blanc, the Bernard, Custom 23, Pelican 800, and I'll have some more pens that I'll just quickly show as size comparisons. The 1911 Large by Sailor and the SC DuPont Line D Vitruvia Man. So let's get into just size comparisons. In terms of compared to the Mont Blanc, I mean, they're pretty much the same size. I mean, in terms of diameter and the length, seems the Yukai Royale is slightly longer, but I think that they're the same girth. Uh, the Pelican 800 is. It's short for sure, and it's a little bit girlier as well. The Custom E23, which is this long pen itself, and they're pretty much the same height. And the Line D by SC DuPont, they're pretty much the same length. It's a little bit shorter, but this is way more has way more girth. And obviously the Nippenard and the Sailor 1911 Large are both very smaller and a lot slimmer. Let's see if you could do uncapped. I'm not. Go I'm not going to be doing post the comparison because I'm not going to post this pen. So I don't want them to do a wishy lacquer. Yeah, it is. Bigger than the one point one four nine. I mean, they have pretty much the same girth. This is a higher, I mean, bigger, longer nip section. And flares out more than the one point one four nine. The nibs, I mean, the one four nine has a way bigger nib. Yeah. Let's compare the nib size of that to Custom E23 and Pelican. My iPhone can focus. So, I mean, they all pretty much have the same the nib size, if you can see. And it's bigger. I mean, the Custom 23 and the Yukari Royale pretty much have the same length. And the Yukari Royale is longer than the Pelican 800. And they pretty much have the same width as well. I mean, Pelican 800 and Yukari Royale are, are girlier than the Custom 23. So I'm just going to get this. I am excited to try out this pen. Once I write with this for a couple of weeks, I will be doing an official review with a writing sample. But so far, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.